Hey up everyone, um, I'm going to make rose hip vodka today, so another simple infusion, not really much to it, um, I've just been out this morning uh, foraging some rose hips from the local rose bushes that are kicking around, um, and there they are, and as I always say, if you're not sure, don't pick them, uh, there's, there's tons of you know resources to to help you identify rose hips um, but unlike the Japanese rose that I used um, in my wine making video a while back I'm using some kind of British roses I suppose so there's a couple of different types and I'm, I'm not massively familiar with them but here you've got things like field rose, dog rose um, and you get rose hips that look slightly different of course based on that so you've got the kind of slightly elongated rose hip and you've got a slightly more rounded rose hip so if you can see they are different from a different rose bush but both are fine so all you're looking for is red and a hard is is what you need if the if they're squishy don't pick them just leave them um, you'll also see and you can kind of see the size difference there so we're kind of like little fledgling rose bushes, uh, so any kind of like little baby ones will give you minuscule rose hips, so you don't really want them because you'll be picking them all year. Uh, so you know, try and get the, the you know the good size one, so the size of your kind of thumbnail, support. Oh, we dropped it. Size of your like thumbnail, you can see that. Oh, there you go. So you're probably not going to get much bigger than that for these types of roses. So I've got. Um, 300, just under 350 grams, so you only really need about 300 for this. Uh, but I overpicked, so I'll just save waste and I'll chuck them in. Um, I've got just over 100 grams of sugar, so I think I put, again, it depends on how sweet you want it. Um, I'm not massive on dead, dead sweet. Um, I think I used about 120 last year. I'm probably just going, I'm using about, I think it came to about 110, so, and if you want it less sweet, use less sugar um, the thing with these is you, you're experimenting so you do it once and you kind of know you, you know where you're at so for next time you're doing it um, and I've got a litre kiln jar at least I think it's a litre I've not measured it actually but a litre kiln jar and some neutral spirit um, vodka and you know the thing with these infusions is you can use anything you want I tend to keep it neutral spirit or vodka uh, for a lot of these because you get the natural flavour of whatever you're putting in it come out of it. Um, you could probably get away with gin, I would, I would have thought. Maybe, maybe white rum to push. Um, but, but yeah, like I said, I tend to keep it neutral because, you know, other, otherwise the flavour of the rose hips that you're putting in are just going to get lost in amongst any other flavour. Um, so, but any other spirit will work. To a point. So all we're going to do, you get the raw zips in. So I've washed, um, I've washed these, taken off any kind of like you know dead leaves, dead petals uh, that would be around this kind of bit here, this black bit. Um, you know, I've pulled off any stalks and stuff. But you know, if you've got a little bit on that, it's fine. You're not too precious, as you always say. So let's get them in there. Stop it going everywhere, I'll just funnel it in. A little bit of a shake. And probably going to get about 500, 600 mil in here, so let's just do 600 and see what we, uh, see what we end up with. You can squeeze in. Right. Let's just 
just give it a quick shake. Just about. That'll be able to squeeze a little bit more in. So give it a good shake. And what we're going to do with this is over the next kind of couple of days, you'll see. The sugar kind of you know settle back down to the bottom so i'm just going to stick this in a dark cupboard and over the next couple of days i'm just going to come back to it once a day just give it a good shake and you know probably two three maybe four days later all that sugar will have gone and now we're just going to leave it and unfortunately this is another long one so i did a slow vodka slow gym video uh, a while back so this is that's going to take literally you know well over a year i would say before it's ready to really drink. This one's not quite as bad, uh, but you're going to be waiting a while. So what I'm going to do is in the dark cupboard, this is going to stay for four months, I'd say. Four months is probably about right. Maybe three, if you're, uh, if you're rushing. <laughs> and after four months, I'm going to strain it into a bottle. And I'm going to leave it in the bottle for another three months. Now, I recently finished off a two-year-old bottle of this and it was absolutely delightful it is so fruity and it's such an unusual kind of flavor you, you won't come across this type of flavor from anything else i find so you got under notes of vanilla uh really kind of fruity surprisingly fruity and you know a bit floral as well as you, you kind of expect that from rose hips but um it, it's it's a delight honestly it's, it's superb um and i tried it um from the bottle after after it'd been in the bottle three months and the difference uh, of kind of drinking it at the end so we're you know at two year mark it, it was worlds apart and so it's you know it, it matures really really well in the bottle list uh, so to start with it's going to be like a bit of a pinky color um, but once it's aged it'll turn to a lovely golden amber um, and it looks awesome as well so <laughs> as well as tasting amazing it looks great so that's it uh, another one where you've got to be patient, I promise I will do some infusion videos um, where you don't have to wait as long. I think I mentioned before, uh, I'm going to do like a Cointreau or so, an orange liqueur, and that literally takes a couple of days. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and you know, if you like the video, subscribe, uh, give it a like, and uh, stay tuned for more. So until next time, I'll see you there.